Tech Revision with Mrs. Swanee Pooh. <laughs> Hi everyone, um, today we're going to talk about these things called production aids. I've seen them come up in the exam a good few times and I'm guaranteeing you straight away that all of you will have most likely used one of these types of production aids in your NEA. So we're going to just quickly talk about what each of these are and how they help with accuracy in manufacturing. Now, before I move on, production aids are most useful in batch production. When you are making sets of say 50 to 1000 of a particular product, if you are making a one off, it's kind of pointless to make a template um, unless you're checking quality control because you are only going to use that template once. And if anything larger, for example, if you were doing mass production, everything is going to be CAD CAM controlled by machinery. So production aids are mostly used in batch production because it's where people are most involved. Okay, let's talk about each one. So templates, as simple as it sounds, they are used for drawing and cutting around. They give you identical shape, the shape that you need to cut out. They can be made from card, they could be made from wood, they could be made from uh, metal like stainless steel or something like that. The reason that they might be made from materials like metal is that you might want them to be quite strong and durable, especially if you're using them on a thousand products. Um, you don't want your little card template to be falling apart. So you can see that depending on the on how many you're making, you might want your template to be a little bit more durable. It's really much quicker and easier. So it gets rid of um, human error because there is no need for measuring which can also be quite time consuming so it's much quicker much easier you get consistent same same um, shape each time um, as we said they need to be relatively strong and durable so that they can be used over and over and over um, and you can also use them in quality control so i think that's a lot of you in your neas may have uh, laser cut out a card template um, to just check the size of something or to draw around something but templates rel relatively simple a shape you draw around it speeds things up gets rid of human error uh, makes everything quicker and easier hence saving cash right this is for all my textiles people um, we're going to talk about patterns. So patterns in textiles are basically templates and they are used to cut out pieces of fabric. So, for example, um, on a shirt, you might have the front, you might have the sleeve, you might have a collar. You cut out all those individual bits using a template called a pattern um, and then those pieces are machine stitched or stitched together. Um, it says here that they're made from tissue paper. That was straight from the, exact, um, from the revision guide. They seem to be a little bit more durable than tissue paper, so I'm not sure about tissue paper, but they're basically made from quite a thin material that is pinned to the fabric so you can cut around them. Um, in industry, though, you wouldn't use um, templates. So when you're making more of a particular product, you might just load up the pattern shapes into um, a computer. Here's a sketch of my lovely uh, computer. Oh gosh, that looks offensive. That's a mouse. OK, just don't even look at that. Um, and a keyboard. And you may have that programmed to a machine like this that uses CAM. So computer. Can you remember what it stands for? Aided. Manufacture. And these are automatically cut out, but patterns are also a really good example of a production aid. Next one we're going to talk about is called a jig. Um, these are a little bit different because they are used to guide tools. 
So this one here is a good example. It has two holes that have already been pre-drilled. It looks like it's got a few more, but if we just focus on those two for the moment, and you can see that the drill bit is actually passing through the hole. So you could clamp this onto your piece of material. And what would that would mean is that if you, if you um, keep changing the material, you would drill holes in the same place every single time. So it makes sure that your work that you're working on is positioned in the right place for the machining. It can be for a very specific job. So for drilling a hole or cutting a particular uh, length, or you can see that this one is got a bit of an angle here to be able to cut certain angles. And this one again is going to allow you to drill this way and this way. Quite good for flat pack furniture where you need things to line up really, really accurately. Um, it speeds up production uh, because you don't have to be measuring and moving things around constantly. You just put your jig in place and drill or cut through the gaps to make the, the correct piece every single time. Your workers need less skill and less training and it simplifies the process. So less human error again. So a jig is a little bit different. It guides the tool like a drill, for example, um, you drill kind of like through a gap or cut through a gap that ensures that you cut or drill in the same place every single time. Last one is molds. Um, so you can create a mold and it's used in things like pewter casting, which if you were in year seven, you would have done that for your zip tag. And if any of you have done vacuum forming this year, you will have done this and also in the year eight uh, chocolate project. What you did was you made a mold. So, for example, here we have a mold. And then the vacuum former can heat up the plastic and shrink it around the mold. So this mold can be made from lots of different things, resin, wood, metals, even uh, styrofoam, depending on what materials you're using. And what it tends to be is a replica of the shape that you want to create. You can use it many times. Um, sometimes for things like metals, you can see molten metal is being poured into the mold here. And there's the shape that comes out. So it's almost like it's a cavity um, that you either pour something in or a shape that you mold something around. Now for uh, vacuum forming, um, some of you may have watched the previous video with some of the production processes. You need to remember that they quite often have a draft angle, uh, which means that you can remove the, the uh, product from the mold after it's been uh, shaped. So molds allow you to produce the same shape over and over and over. They can be used many times. And that's just another example of a production aid. Right. Short and sweet. Hope that helped. See you on the next video.